today is going to be my first episode of Junk Free June. Uh, I'm not going to be doing it every day, but I'm going to try to be doing it every other day. Or just try to actually give you guys an idea. Using my fitness pal, I'll show you exactly what I'm going to be eating. Maybe even show you some of the meals that I make or create. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing uh, some legs. Uh, I'm going to be not doing any powerlifting stuff any of the month of June either. I'm going to be just doing regular push-pull legs, but I don't like doing legs uh, last. I like doing my legs first, so it's going to be more of a legs push-pull. And then uh, that's what I'm going to be doing six hundred and seven days out of the week. So uh, I'm on my way to the gym right now. I'll see you guys when I get there. All right, guys. So as I said, I am not doing anything really powerlifting related, but yes, I am still going to squat, but not squat as heavy or as intense as I would be on a regular uh, squat day. So... Uh, what I did for my squats is I started off with uh, 135 for 5, did 225 for 5, and then to the top set, as you see here, for uh, 285 for 5. And that is pretty much uh, the highest amount that I did for today on my uh, on my squat. Because, again, I just want to, you still want to make sure that you still have, like, a feeling for the movement, but, uh, you know, not hitting the same kind of intensity. Uh, as you see, I just dinged the... Uh, the platform there but uh, still managed to get uh, all my uh, sets and lifts in there uh, what I followed it up with is also with a uh, stiff legged deadlift or Romanian deadlift uh, pretty much uh, did a slow distension and then uh, made sure I shot up right back quick uh, really just to make sure again like I said just get uh, the, the legs and the hamstrings really just uh, firing into a good stretch uh, in hamstrings doing these and then I followed that up with uh, the leg press I started off with three plates then uh, four plates and then five plates uh, again nothing too intense uh, like I said for this month I just wanted just to uh, just enjoy uh, you know just weightlifting as a whole not really try to do any powerlifting related stuff just enjoy being in the gym and uh, you know going back to the basics back to the things that uh, you know for me a thing that I love not just uh, the powerlifting side of things so that's really what I wanted to uh, you know pay attention to so after I did the leg press I went into doing uh, leg extensions I uh, started off with 110 for 8 and then I just did following with two sets of uh, 80 pounds for 8. Again, uh, making sure I get the slow, uh, you know, the set or a slow uh, release down and then giving it a nice, you know, strong, uh, aggressive uh, extension and then hold it for as long as I can before, uh, you know, really getting that done and then I did the seated uh, leg curls I uh, didn't use too much weight to use 60 pounds for eight reps and again for uh, three sets again just trying to make sure that the hamstrings make sure all my leg uh, muscles got uh, you know firing today uh, I never did anything for the calves but uh, that's pretty much how uh, uh, everything went for today guys so I hope that uh, you got an idea of how I am going to be structuring my workouts for uh, for this month of June and hopefully you guys will stick with me. All right guys, so as you saw there, I'm not really trying to do no crazy amount of weight. I'm just really just trying to, you know, just get some training under the belt and, uh, you know, stay fluid. I actually want to go to, uh, not really a chiropractor, but I just want to go somewhere that I could, uh, I have some real tightness in my back. Nothing too real overwhelming, but I want to, I know that there's like tightness and I just want to get it cracked out, you know. Migraine headaches? So I'll probably go to a chiropractor or somebody that could, uh, you know, help me out with that. Uh, and then start going back to like give it some time and then go back and do some heavy lifting again so i'm not doing anything anything intense uh, as you saw i had my knee sleep on just my left knee because my left knee has also been uh, giving me a little just bugging me but uh you know i'm not worried about it it's still something that uh you know i just you know go through and live with but uh that is pretty much how things are working for me. Like I said, it's Jump Free June. I'll talk to you guys at lunchtime and give you a breakdown of uh, my fitness pal, my macros, etc. So stick with me. Talk to you guys at lunch. All right, guys. So as I discussed in previous videos, if you guys see my lunch hauls, I usually keep my lunch pretty uh, simple. Uh, this is what I got. As you see, I got some Greek yogurt, got a fruit cup, and uh, a nice TV dinner. Not too many, not too high in the macros. Right now, I am following 
about 2400 uh, calories on my fitness pal uh, not too heavy uh, what I have it set up for is basically to lose about uh, a pound pound a, a pound a week and uh, what it, it works just enough for me to actually do that and not starve like I, i'm not trying to lose too much body fat uh just want to be just lean enough to be still straightforward don't lose no strength and still be good for the powerlifting thing uh actually within the next few weeks i'm actually gonna go and try to see if i can get the uh, chiropractor thing like i was telling you guys earlier there and hopefully get that done uh like i said my my fats and stuff i'll show you guys in the thing here but uh, i try to keep it uh you know cheap try to keep my carbs decent not that's just just under half i think it's about 45 percent is a, is uh is the carbs uh i think 30 fats and 30 35 fats and 30 uh to 35 uh proteins and I don't know if that's exactly 100, but uh, that is exactly what I'm following right now. So, again, that is what I'm doing for lunch. And uh, I'll catch you guys, uh, show you guys what I'm having for dinner. All right, guys. So, what you see here is, uh, I don't know if you guys see it in Walmarts or most uh, uh, grocery stores. They have sliced uh, chicken. So, I use a spiced uh, sliced barbecue chicken there and use one of these new Carbo from Flat Out uh, Protein Down, or Protein Up Carb Down uh uh, wraps and that's what I've been using for uh, my dinners more recently and uh, that's what I have. Alright guys so yes I'm in my kitchen right now uh, as you guys saw that's what I'm having for the wrap is what I'm having for my uh, lunch or having for my dinner and uh, what I'm having as well is three boiled eggs nothing extra fancy with it that's basically what I'm having for my uh, dinner and then as I uh, showed you guys I'm keeping everything as clean as possible and that is basically day one of my uh, junk free June well it's not day one it's actually a third of June but that's day one of my logging or vlogging of uh, junk free June again it's Monday stick with me guys I will talk to you guys on Tuesday so each of these videos is gonna be like two days make one video so Hopefully it still sticks to my schedule. If it doesn't, I'll try to work it in with some other stuff and hopefully you guys will like, you know, what I bring. The next morning. It doesn't seem like they're ever gonna get rid of this stuff uh, for moving. It is around the first of the month anyways. But anyways, uh, today is Tuesday, June the 4th. I'm going to be doing my push, part of my uh, push-pull uh, legs, our legs push-pull uh, part of the uh, junk free june thing as you can see i am having here a banana that is what i'm going to be eating uh i'm not a breakfast person i normally eat my uh most of my breakfast and my meals post uh workout so that's what i'm going to be doing today today is going to be like i said bench press and the push parts of my workout so i will see you guys when i get to the gym So as you see there guys, I went in and uh, had a decent uh, push workout. Uh, I actually did uh, some tricep pull downs and uh, some lateral raises, cable lateral raises as well. I didn't film it though. And uh, that is pretty much how that workout went. I'm on my way to work now. I actually uh, gonna be having for the first time a new uh, protein powder. I was gonna do a review on it, but I was like, you know what? Uh, I'll save it for some other, I actually got some other uh, bars and stuff. I'm gonna do some uh, taste tests on, so I'll give you guys some reviews on those. But uh, I got uh, a new protein that I got. Uh, it's from the uh, Pro Show that I was telling you guys about, where uh, it's like a Fruit Loops flavor. Uh, I can't remember who exactly makes it. I'll show you a picture of it anyways. And uh, that is what I'm having for uh, my post-workout with one of my uh, Pure Protein uh, my pure protein uh, protein bars so again that's my post workout and i will show you guys what i have for lunch at lunch time right here is a protein bar this is a maple uh maple caramel uh flavored of the pure protein bars i usually grab from uh from walmart 
as you guys seen in my hauls in pre previous times, I love pure protein, uh, protein bars. So that's what I had for breakfast with a nice protein shake. And then for lunch, I had uh, a lemon chicken uh, TV dinner with one of the fruit cups and the uh, Greek yogurt that you've guys seen me eat in the previous uh, lunch ideas. <music>